What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video, and for today we will be unboxing a new Realme device, the Realme 7 Pro. I know guys, it's been a while since we've talked about the Realme 6 series. And now Realme is launching the 7 series, and we're starting off with the 7 Pro. So what's with the Realme 7 Pro? Is there something new? Is there something worth noting the pro name over it? Or is it just pure cosmetic upgrades? Well, we're here to find out. At the back of the box, it says here it has a 65 watt super dark charger. And yeah, I think it's the first time I've ever heard of a 65 watt super dark charger in this price range. Do take note, I don't know how much this costs yet. But don't worry, I'll make another video about that for the full review. It has a Snapdragon 720G processor, a Sony 64 megapixel quad camera, and the 6.4 inch, get this guys, it is now Super AMOLED. You know me, I always pick AMOLEDs over IPS LCD panels with higher refresh rates over any day. So this phone's gonna be my baby. <laughs> So upon opening the box, of course, there will always be the smaller box. That includes the smoky jelly case and the paperwork that nobody really reads. We have here the phone itself, and to confirm that it is AMOLED, it has a fingerprint sensor on the display. We have here our USB-C charging cable, which is pretty thick, to, of course, to handle the 65 watt charger. The SIM tool, which, funny enough, even though we have lots of phone boxes here, I don't know where they gone. Mary, where the hell did you put them? I hide them. <laughs> and of course, Realme's major upgrade, the 65 watt super dark charger, which Realme claims that it can charge the device up to 18% in just 3 minutes. Don't worry guys, we'll be testing that out because Realme challenged me to do a 7 minute challenge in where I'll charge the device from 0 to whatever percent in just 7 minutes and I'll do whatever I want, which you'll find out later. Okay, this is the Realme 7 Pro. Again, the variant that I have is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage and the colorway of this is mirror blue which is also available in mirror silver this is the realme 7 pro that mary has and as you can see i got the better color yet again Check. okay so for my first impressions out of the box i honestly thought that this was made out of glass but upon feeling it and inspecting it closer it is actually made out of polycarbonate plastic it also has a matte finish which honestly i like matte finishes but this kind of matte finish it, it leaves fingers prints which I have mixed feelings about but you know what it's probably a small trade-off because this device is actually the very first smartphone that has a TUV Rainland quality certification well in layman's term what that actually means is this device is pretty reliable it will surely last you a long time compared to other mid-range smartphones at this range too at the top there is a secondary microphone which cancels the background noise at the left it has a triple slot sim tray which of course has houses a dual SIM and is expandable via micro SD card slot. And below that you have the volume rockers. At the right you have a power button which has a gold accent. At the bottom you have a 3.5mm audio port, a microphone, <laughs> the USB-C port and the speaker grill. At the back they redesigned the camera module, they turned it into a rectangular shape rather than the pill-shaped one in the 6 Pro. It is also a quad camera setup. And at the bottom part, you have a subtle Realme logo. For the design, Realme said that it is inspired by a mirror, hence the name Mirror Blue. And honestly, I can see the resemblance. It shines like a mirror and it looks very elegant. And the race at the back reminds me of a CD. For the display, you have a 6.4 inch FHD Plus Super AMOLED display with a 2400 by 1080p resolution and a screen to body ratio of 90.8%. Since it is AMOLED, it has vivid colors with deep blacks and is very color accurate. It is so much enjoyable rather than having an IPS LCD with a very high refresh rate. The side bezels are pretty thin, but the chin is pretty thick. And I am also digging the single smaller punch hole rather than the 6 Pro's pill-shaped one. So yes, there is definitely an upgrade in terms of display and design. For the camera, since this isn't the full review yet, video coming soon, I'll give you a quick rundown of the specs. For the primary sensor of the quad camera setup, you have a 64 megapixel Sony IMX682 sensor with an aperture of f1.8, an 8 megapixel ultrawide lens with an aperture of f2.3, 2 megapixel black and white portrait camera with an aperture of f2.4 and a 2 megapixel macro lens and also it has a 32 megapixel f2.5 aperture 
for its selfie camera. If you guys want to see the sample pictures, I'll show them in the next clip. For the chipset, you have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G with an 8 nanometer octa-core processor that is up to 2.3 gigahertz, an Adreno 618 GPU, and again, the variant I have here is the 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage. When I was playing Asphalt 9 on this device, my experience was pretty good because this device is AMOLED and it has the Snapdragon 720G and we all know that that chipset is made for gaming. So yeah, my initial experience gaming on this device were pretty smooth and pretty good. Sorry to say, I can't show you the benchmarks yet, but surely we will talk about it on my full review. Now let's move on to the main star of the show, the battery and its charging. For the battery, you have a 4500mAh capacity, and for the charging, you have the 65W Super Dart Charger. If you guys want to know how fast this device will charge in just 7 minutes, the next clip will show you my charging test. So now, this is my take on the 7 minute challenge by Real Me. I'll attempt eating all of these under 7 minutes or in 7 Seven minutes. As you can see, I have a timer here, two mashed potatoes, a bucket of fries, three famous bowls, two large fun shots, and well, maybe I'm not gonna finish all that gravy. <laughs> we'll see. So now I'll plug it in and start the timer. Let's eat. Disclaimer, this is not sponsored by KFC, so KFC, hey. Also guys, looks can be deceiving. I may look like a big guy, but I'm actually a slow eater. Seventeen percent, three minutes to go. One food ball down. Okay, so time's up. As you can see, I haven't finished it all. I'm not that a fast eater. So I guess I lost the challenge, but my belly is full. And now let's take the plug out and let's see how much battery percentage we've got in just seven minutes. And as you can see within just seven minutes of charging, I already charge it up to 28%, which is actually not bad from Realme's claim of 31%. So yeah, my overall first impression of this device is looking pretty colorful, pretty good. If you guys already have a guess of how much this device will cost, comment it down below and who knows, you may be right. So yeah, that is it for today video see you guys on my full review again it's me Jason see you on the next one bye guys